good morning. Good morning, year three. Um, well, it's morning in my world. Um, whatever time you watch this, I hope you had a you enjoyed the lesson yesterday. Today we're going to do the first lesson on telling the time. OK, so we did introducing clocks yesterday, year two work. Today we're doing telling the time. So if you want to open that lesson up, um, then that would be great. And you can work alongside the video on it. If not, you could do the lesson afterwards after I've done it. Um, or if you're really confident, just do the homework. But I think it would be really useful for you to also do the lesson. And I have set the online homework to go live today. OK, so I hope you enjoy this lesson telling the time. OK, so let's get going. So this is seven o'clock. OK, sometimes it might be the time when you wake up. Um, not everyone wakes up at seven. Some of you might wake up earlier. Some of you might wake up later. I know because I've had um, the Easter holidays, I've been waking up a lot later than that. But um, usually on a on a typical work day, seven o'clock is is actually a really good time to wake up. So the clock says seven o'clock is time to wake up. The clock says twelve o'clock is time for lunch. OK, so you can see the minute and the hour hand are pointing to the twelve. It's twelve o'clock midday. Twelve o'clock can also be called midday or twelve o'clock could be midnight, depending on whether it's day or night. It's time for lunch. Now, in a school day, we have lunch at 20 past 12, 20 minutes past 12. So actually on a school day, this minute hand, when it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, when it's pointing to the four, and the hour hand will be just after the 12. That would be when we had lunch at school. But quite a few of you might have lunch at 12 o'clock when you're at home or some people have it later. It says half past three. School is over for the day. Now, some of you might be saying, what school doesn't finish at half past three? Because in blue coat, it finishes at 20 past three. OK, so this hand would go back 10 minutes to the four. We know the four is 20 because we just said it about the lunchtime, OK? And we can see that here, the the hour hand is halfway between the three and the floor. So this clock shows half past three. And some schools do end a little bit later than blue coat. You're very lucky you get to end early. The clock was quarter past five. It's time for tea. Some people might eat their dinner at quarter past five. So we can see that the hour hand is just past the five o'clock just past we know it's quarter past so it's just past the five o'clock and then that minute hand has gone from the 12 so we've gone 5 10 15 we know quarter past is 15 minutes when it's pointing three so it's quarter past five and it, it might be time for tea and the clock says quarter to nine it's time for bed and i think that should be around the time that you all go to bed even though you're not in school. It's a great time to go to bed, especially when you're a child. So you should be tucked up in bed at this time, maybe reading a book. OK, so it is quarter to nine. OK, so it's the um, the minute hand is pointing at the nine, which means quarter two, because quarter two is 45 minutes past the hour. And we've gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Quarter two. It's good knowledge just to know when you look at a clock, if that if the minute has pointed to nine, it's quarter to an hour. It's just good to get that in your head and know that as a fact. And then the min the hour hand is pointing between the eight and the nine. So it's not quite reached nine o'clock yet. If this minute hand went to the twelve, it would be nine o'clock. It's quarter to nine. It's still eight forty-five. It's four quarter of an hour, fifteen minutes until nine o'clock. Quarter to nine. So there are 60 minutes in an hour and you can see it on the clock. I went through a little bit yesterday. I said each little dot is one minute and each big number is represents five minutes. So you can see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 or quarter past. I'm not going to go through all the time, but you can see it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and back to the o'clock. Okay, if it went round all the clock, it would be one hour, 60 minutes, one hour. 
So you can see here, if the shorthand's at the four and it's gone five minutes past the hour, it is five minutes past four, okay? Five minutes past four. The long hand points to the minutes, and the shorthand is on the hour. 10 past four, quarter past four, or 15 minutes past four, 20 past four, 25 minutes past four, half past four. We've gone halfway around the clock. It's on the 30 minutes. It is half past four. Now, this is when it changed a bit, changes a bit. Every minute so far, we've said past the hour. From now on, we're going to say to the hour, to five o'clock, okay? So, this is 25 minutes to five. 25 minutes to five. Now I know it's on the 35, but 35 plus 25 makes 60. So that would be the hour. So it's 25 minutes. So we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's 25 minutes to five o'clock. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Because if we count 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, if it carries on 25 minutes, it would be five o'clock. It's 25 minutes until five o'clock. It's 25 minutes to five. Okay, you could say 35 minutes past four, but that's not what we usually say. We usually say 25 minutes to five. So if this moves to here, to uh, the eight, what do you think it could be? You can shout out to the, to the video if you want to. It would be 20 minutes to five. 20 minutes to five and if it moves to the nine we know that's quarter to we've already said that we need to keep that in our head the nine is quarter to so it'll be quarter to five and then it would be 10 to five when it's on the the 10 there's been 15 minutes 15 minutes of the hour and we've only got 10 minutes of the hour left it's 10 minutes until five o'clock and then on the 11 it would be five minutes until five OK, so we're going to match up these clocks. You can pause the video and do it on your own lesson if you want to. I would do that now. If not, then I'm going to go through the answers or you could even try the lesson afterwards and do them yourself as well. Now, I know that these three are going to be o'clock because you can see the minute hand is pointing to 12 and all of them. So this one I'm looking, the hour hands on nine. So this one must be nine o'clock. This one I can see the hour hand is on one. So this one must be one o'clock and this one you can see big line here the hour hands on the six six o'clock this one i can see it's quarter to the hour because it's on the nine I said that's something we need to remember and it's it's not quite reached eight yet so it must be quarter to eight all correct so we're going to be having a look at this for each one. Now remember, if it's this side of the clock, look at where my mouse is, it's past the hour. From the 6 to the 12 on the other side, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, would be to the hour. So it's asking you to complete whether it's past or to the hour. This one I can see it's on this side of the clock, it's on the left hand side of the clock, so it must be to the hour. Oh, it's asking me to type it in. So this would be 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to the hour, 20 minutes to, and I can see that at the moment it's nearly on the nine. It's not quite the hour hand, it's nearly on nine. It's not quite on the nine though. So it would be 20 minutes until or to nine. This one, I can see it's going to be two again because it's on the left hand side of the clock. Anything from six to 12 is to the hour. Anything from 12 to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, would be past the hour. So it's gonna be two again. I'm gonna put that in first this time. And I can see it's on the 10. So if I counted, it would be five, 10. It's 10 minutes until the hour. So 10, 10, two, and I can see it's nearly, the hour hand is very nearly on the 10 o'clock, but it's not quite yet. So it's 10 minutes until 10 o'clock. And this one, I can see it's past the hour because it's on the right hand side of the clock. And I can count five, 10. It's on the two, so it's five, 
10 minutes past, and it's just past the five, the hour hand has just gone past the five, so past five. I can mark it, I've got them all correct. You can have a go at that as well on your own. So, again, this was very similar to yesterday's. It's going to give us some times, and I want you to have a go at trying those times on your own. I'm not going to go through all 10, I will just do the first one. OK, so set the clock to quarter to seven. So I know that our hand, is it going to reach the seven or is it going to be before the seven? It's quarter to seven. It's not going to be on the seven yet because it's not seven o'clock yet. OK, so it's going to be before the seven. And now because I can see that I'm nearly there, I'm going to use the minute hand and drag it up to the quarter two, which we know is the nine. I said that's something we need to learn. The quarter two, because it would be five, five, 15 minutes, 15 minutes is quarter of an hour to seven. It's not on the seven yet. It's nearly on the seven. It's only 15 minutes, which isn't very long to seven o'clock. OK, so I'm just going to go through that one. I would love it if you can go on to lesson and do the rest on your own, as well as the homework that I will have set on your portal, because that will be really, really, really useful to help you. On a digital clock, we went through these yesterday. We can see that nine o'clock is written as nine zero zero. OK, five past eight. OK, we're past the hour, so we know the hour is going to be at eight. And then we're only five minutes past it, so it'll be 8.05. Five minutes past eight. Now, 10 to six. It's not reached six o'clock yet, so it must be five something. Five, and we're going to count this way this time. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 5.50, OK? Now, the reason why it's 5.50, 50 is if you added on 10 minutes here, if you added on 10 minutes to the 5, 50, if you added 10 minutes onto 50, it would make 60, which would be back to the o'clock, wouldn't it? Which would be 6 o'clock. We don't have a 560. After 559, which would be this little point here, it would be 6 o'clock. So it's 10 minutes to 6 o'clock. Half past 7, we went through this one yesterday, it would be 7. 30 because we know at the six is half past and we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Or you could do half of 60 minutes in an hour would be 30, 7.30. On digital clock, quarter past six, when we know it's past six, so it'd be six something and we know quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. On the three, it would be 15 minutes. So it'd be quarter, it would be six, 15, six, 15. Final one, quarter to 10. Now it's not reached 10 o'clock yet, so it must be nine. It must start with a nine. Nine, and we know quarter two is 45 minutes past the hour. Nine would be 45, quarter two, 10 would be 9.45. And if we counted up 15 minutes, five, 10, 15, it would be 10 o'clock. If we counted quarter of an hour, 5, 10, 15, it would be 10 o'clock, but it's not 10 o'clock yet. OK, so again, you can try this on your own lesson. You could either pause uh, the lesson that I am um, the video or you can go on to it yourself afterwards. OK, but it would be great if you tried that. And now I'm going to answer it myself. So I know that if the minute clock's pointing to it's five 10 minutes past because it's on the, the right side of the clock. So it's 10 minutes past and the hour hands on the three, 10 minutes past three, nearly home time at school. This one, now I can see it's quarter two. It's on the left side of the clock. It's quarter two, it's on the nine, five, 10, 15 minutes would be the hour. So it's quarter two, four. It's not quite reached the four yet, but it's nearly there. So. Quarter two, four would be the same as 3.45. This one, I can see it's 25 minutes past the hour. It's past the hour. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes past three. 25 minutes past 
three. It's not. It's between the three and the four, but it's not on the four yet. It's just past the three. So 25 minutes past three. And the final one, I can see we've only gone five minutes. It's only five minutes after three o'clock. So it must be 3.05. That one's a nice, easy one. So this is a bit more tricky because you have to, on your keyboard, find the colon and the full stop. I can't show you on mine where it is, but you can have a look now on your own keyboard, on your computer or on your tablet keyboard, where those are, because they're really useful things to find, especially not just for maths, but for other lessons as well. So you can have a go at this on your own after the, after I've shown you, or you can have a, you can pause the video and have a go and then see if you got them right. I can see here that I'm counting 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes past an hour. So it's going to be something 25. I can see that our hand has gone past the four. So it's going to be four. And then we do a colon 25. OK, now you could do a colon here or if you can't find the colon, you could do a full stop. Either one is OK. This this is saying that either one is OK. A colon's better. We use colon more often or if you see a clock, such as down at the bottom of your computer screen here, you can see a colon more often. This one, we can see it's nearly 12 o'clock. If both hands were pointing at the 12, it would be 12 o'clock, but it's not quite 12 o'clock yet. So we know it's not a 12, it's not going to be a 12 because it's not reached 12 o'clock yet, and the number before 12 is 11. And we can see in five minutes time, it's reached uh, 12 o'clock. So that would be 11, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, colon, 55. Now, you could say five minutes to 12, five minutes to 12, or 11.55. This one, we know if it's pointing to the three, it's quarter past, or 15 minutes past, and the hour hand has just gone past the 10. So this one is 10, colon, 15. Now, final thing, you can drag the hour hand and the minute hand to the time. OK, so I'm going to we've had quite a long lesson here, so I'm going to do it quite quickly. The hour hands on the two now. This is two o'clock and we want to go just past the two to five past two. OK, you could drag the hand to the two o'clock to the five to the two o'clock. And then we know we're only going five minutes past. So it drag it to the one, which is five minutes past. This one, I know I'm going to do the minute hand first. Actually, no, I have to do the hour hand first. I'm going to drag the hour hand to three. So this is showing us three o'clock, but we know it's 45 minutes past three. So I'm going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now, I hope you're also saying and you had miss 345 is also quarter to four. And this one, I'm going to drag the hour hand to the 11. OK, this is 11 o'clock. Drag the minute hand to the there. 11 o'clock. We know we're 50 minutes past 11 or 10 to 12. So you need to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 11, 50 or 10 to 12. OK, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, and now I want you to log into your portal. OK, here and you will have some online homework, quick quiz about the lesson I've just taught you. Have a lovely rest of your day.